right, good morning classmates. My name is Max Arney, and today I'm here to talk to you about weed. But no, I'm not here to promote smoking in the boys' room or teach you how to hide, hide it in your house and get away with it. I'm here to talk about the legalization of its medical use and recreational use. You see, I've done, many, I've done much research on different hospitals, organizations, and support groups that all have varying different facts and opinions. And I think if I bring this topic to more light, you guys will at least consider bringing marijuana into civil life. But first, let's talk about what marijuana actually is and why it's illegal in the first place. So according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, marijuana is, quote, dried leaves, flowers, stems, and seeds from the hemp plant cannabis sativa, end quote. The plant has a mind-altering chemical in it known as delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, also known as THC. This is what produces the high state of mind when consuming marijuana. Cannabis actually did used to be illegal in the United States. Uh, farmers grew hemp plants to create rope, uh, paper, and different kinds of clothes. But in 1910, the Mexican Revolution started to boil over, and a lot of the immigrants would come to the southern states to avoid conflict in their area. And they were the first ones to actually introduce a recreational use to it. But the southern states started a rumor called the Marijuana Menace, claiming that users would go mad and insane and actually start killing people. So in 1917, Texas became the first state to actually ban all use of marijuana. Reefer Madness was an anti-marijuana propaganda film released in 1936, and in 1937, all but two states in the United States at the time had banned marijuana. So to put it frankly, the illegalization of marijuana in the first place was the idealization of crazy Mexican people. So now let's just talk about some of the benefits. As most of you probably know, Colorado has already legalized it for both medical and recreational use. And since its legalization, the crime rate is the lowest it's been in 60 years. Tax revenue is running $40.9 million from January 2014 to October 2014, not even including medical or licensing fees. And the recreational use allows for people to open up their own shops and sell it pretty much just like candy. But in, as you can imagine, that brought unemployment rates down substantially as well. 20 states around the United States have already legalized the medical use for it because of some pretty cool benefits. According to a study done by the American Medical Association, marijuana does not impair lung function. It, in some cases, it can actually increase it. See, tobacco smokers, over a long period of time, lose lung function. But due to deep breath taking when consuming marijuana, in some cases, people have increased their lung capacity. There are even studies shown to con that it can control epileptic seizures. THC can do that by regulating the brain cells that also control excitability. And a chemical found in marijuana has even proven to stop cancer cells from spreading. And compounds of cannabis, in some cases, have killed cancer cells. And one really cool thing, this past year, the D.A.R.E. program actually took marijuana off its list of gateway drugs. And now only specific, specifically mentions tobacco and alcohol. But weed is obviously still very controversial, even though there are numerous medical and uh, recreational studies shown that it can be a very good thing. So what would happen if we would be left? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I think our economy could go through the roof, lower crime rate, and more treatment options for sick people. And I think all around, we should bring a happier community. The legalization of weed could open up many different opportunities for businessmen and the medical field. But how can we make this happen? Well, I hope I've been able to maybe change your minds about marijuana and see that it's just not a bad drug that you've been told was awful from the moment you were a kid. This can be a reality in just a short time if we all work together. And I encourage you to also talk to at least one other person about what I'm talking about today. And we can hopefully grow this community of people who want to see a world in which we legalize. If we is legalized, it won't be just a great day for potheads. It'll be a great day for the general populace of the state. And hopefully I've been able to bring to light some of this information that you guys probably haven't even tried to look into because once again, in sixth grade, you were told that it was the devil's lettuce. I hope some of you have maybe started to come to realize that we need weed. Thank you.